Hello, hello, it's me, Moira. Um, I just filmed a video and I thought it was absolutely cracking. Um, and it's 28 minutes long, so I don't know if I can upload it very easily. Because uh, usually there's a limit of about 15 minutes when I'm doing a video. Uh, so what we'll do is we shall start again and do another one. What I was doing was I was making a tag to let you see my layering process. Um, there is no great mistake to my layering process. It's very much a case of let's just get going and do something. So what I've done is I've cut some uh, watercolour paper into tags. Hopefully you can see that and it's in the picture. And I, I'm going to set about decorating it in some fashion. A wee bit of scrapbooking paper here, a wee 4x4 four four pad that I got. And I am going to just, because it's quite a long tag, I'm going to tear this into a reasonably long section to attach to the the. Pic, uh, the the tag. Now, when I'm using anything like that, I do like to go around the edges with Vintage Photo. I'm sure you're all the same when you go to do your uh, any work in your, your journals and whatever, if you're doing any layering. Right, that's us. That'll do for me. I noticed there was a video uh, from Laurie Girl on the Ridge uh, the, probably about a month ago actually or it might not have been as much as that and she was doing some layering uh, and it's layering just looks really good uh, I mean there is there isn't really anything overly fancy to it I've got a wee bit of lace here I'm, it's quite a wide lace so I'm going to cut it in half and just use it kind of Again, you know, I mean, you don't, the problem is you're used to being really, really neat. And the strange thing is, the less neat you are when it comes to layering, the better it goes, the better it looks. You know, don't, don't, don't make things at right angles and stuff like that. Do, do stuff kind of squint. Because it, it just adds to it. I, 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 don't know what it is. I really, I can't explain it. I just know that the experience, um, that's what works for me. Right, so that's a book page I've put in there. I'm going to fire that wee dodd lace in. A dodd is a small portion of. I'll put that wee bit of lace there and I'll put another wee bit of lace below it. At which point you're sitting there going, why didn't you just leave the lace you had, you fool? Why bother cutting it? I'm Moira, and that's what I do. I do as I feel. There we go. I'll do for that. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to add an image to this. Now, I've got some wee pretty folk. And I think what I'll do is, this one's got a kind of purpley, pinky background. That will go quite well with a kind of purpley, pinky, bluey background that's on these. So we shall go round it. These images came from a pad that I bought from Crafty Individuals. And I've been using that pad. Again, doesn't it need to be straight? That kid's sitting at a jaunty angle. Doesn't it matter? That's, that's fine. That'll go okay with what we're doing here. Right, um, aye, these, these images for um, Crafty Individuals... Honestly, I swear to God, I feel as if I've been using this pad for about three years. In fact, it probably is longer than three years. Right, I've got a couple of wee uh, paper flowers and some leaves. I'm just going to cut the metal off. And we're going to add these to our little picture. My flowers came from a company called Wild Orchid Craft. You may well have heard for them, of them. They're um, a British company. They do a lot of uh, paper and fabric flowers. They're not overly expensive. Uh, I I get all my paper flowers there. The 
I, I think they ship abroad. I'm assuming they do. Most folk do these days, don't they? Now, these these particular flowers I chose on the basis that they are quite... Uh, well, they're as close to flat as you're going to get when you're getting uh, these kind of paper flowers that have uh, a bit of dimension to you. Help, that stuck to my finger. Oh, help. There we go. Right, you seeing this okay, guys? Now, I'm going to add to that a little... Again, I think this, this came from Wild Orchid Crafts as well. It's just a wee... It's really helpful to come out the, the bag that I like there. I'm only looking for a wee toty section. Right, now this is quite difficult to stick down. Because what we want to do is get the glue on one side. The glue dries clear, so it won't, hopefully, be terribly noticeable once it's it's dry. Hold on, I'm going to have to hold these for a second. Right, we'll leave that at that now and move this out of the way. I'm moving like the wind. Normally I do tidy up as I'm working, she said, kidding on. Uh, right, we're going to put a wee bit of burlap ribbon here. What I'd like to do is just free the edge because it just makes it look that wee bit more rustic. At the end of the day, I think we're kind of we're going for the rustic thing. And the only reason there's so much in this is because I cut such a big tag. Uh, obviously, if you're just doing a small thing and you're just embellishing a wee pocket or something, you don't need to do a ton of stuff. Right, we're going to have that there and I want to try and get some more of that paper in because what we've got up the top you can barely see now. And round the edge again. Vintage photo, vintage photo. Doesn't it need to be vintage photo, but you tend to find that the brown ones are better for giving you a uh, kind of the dimension. It looks like shadow, if you know what I mean. So again, it's, it tends to make it look a bit more as if it's 3D as opposed to just two dimensions. Right, that's fine there, I think. Do a wee bit of text on top of that down here. Again, all of my text, the book, I went round the page with the vintage photo. There we go, that'll do for that. You bit of lace across the bottom. Now, I've got a wee fabric flower here and I've got the pink one left, and I don't think the pink one goes terribly well with us. I would have preferred... Oh no, the pink one's fine. The pink one's... What am I talking about? The pink one's absolutely fine. Right, we'll just add some glue. And stick that down. And uh, again... Oh, wait a minute, that's what, something else I wanted to do. I wanted to cut... I've got a wee doily here. And I'm going to cut a wee section. Don't cut squares. Things like triangles uh, stuff will fit in better in your um, your work. It'll just look more natural. I'm going to shove that in there underneath that wee flower. Right, I think that's fine. And we shall have... Some more of these wee pearls coming down the way there. So I'll try to just do the one side. My glue's gone hairy with that burlap. Sugar plants. Oh, it's low snake. 
Right, now it does dry clear, this glue, so hopefully it's not going to be screamingly obvious uh, as that glues, uh, as that dries there. Right, now, what I'm going to do, hold on, I put my lid and my glue. On the bits where I've got a uh, bare watercolour card, I am going to use a stamp. Now, I'm not using a, a, an acrylic block because I just want to do it randomly. I want it to look as if these, uh, this tag has been lying against something with text on it and has, as a result, across the years, picked up some of that text. And if you stamp on some of the paper, it again looks perfectly okay. I don't want to do that back again. It just blends in. That does. So there we go, that's that. I am now going to ground the edge with vintage photo. Now bear in mind, some of these things won't be dry yet, so I need to be careful how I do this. Once they're dry, it's, it's fine. You can do what you want, do you know what I mean? It's just, at this stage in the game, I don't want to knock anything off. adds to the, the age yet. Right, that's that. So there you go. That is effectively that tag layered. Um, I would then take one of these wee circle reinforcers, put it over the edge. Oh, got a big bit of glue off my finger there. Um, that's us. I uh, hope you can see that okay. What we do for here is obviously once it's dry put your ribbon through it. You can journal in the back, albeit it's going to be a wee bit rough. Um, or you can just use it as, as it comes. The other thing you can do is, wait a minute, can I add a wee something here? I've got a wee tag, I know a tag, a ticket. Wait till I check my time. Oops, sorry. Oh, I've got a lot of time. Da -da 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 right, I've got a ticket. And I'm going to add that to it. And I'm also going to add uh, some of the other bits that I've got here. Oh, I've got a word. Uh, da, 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 da. Wonderful. I'll go around the edge of this as well. And we'll put that on our ticket. And we shall add our ticket down here. the way so you can see what I'm doing. Fingers are in a terrible state. There you go, that's us finished. Uh, that will stick down eventually. Oh no it won't because it's a double... T oh you dumpling. Oh only me. There we go. Stick down now. That's us. Hope you like it. Please leave a comment and uh, I'll speak to you again soon. See you later guys. Bye.